I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, uh, I, I take my duty happened. seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please. Tell us everything. Did she tell us her plan? No, definitely not. Okay. So we have Nathan Doster, which is true. Jefferson made her cry, which is also true. And David bullied her, which is also true. Um, I don't want to blame Mr. Jefferson because I don't think he was actually trying to do anything bad. I'm not so sure David was so much of bullying him. Or her. I mean, wow, I just messed up. But Nathan was definitely, er, definitely drugged her, which I, I don't know what I should do here. Nathan, David, or Jefferson? Uh, I'm going to do Jefferson because he was the last person who talked to her. I saw Mr. Her. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Yeah. Let's then she here. ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. Okay. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted okay. to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand it. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think okay. I can use my power again. So... Let's sign the statement and continue here. And I well, think I think we know fine. less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. 
Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Alright, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all for watching, though. I am so happy Life is Strange is working again, because I have absolutely missed this game. Anyways, that is pretty much it, though. I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Alright, now that the credits are over, I'm just going to show you guys all of the stuff that we, uh, that we went through here. Um, so we told Kate to go to the police. This was a long time back. Uh, we answered Kate's call. That was also a long time back at the diner. Um, 
Then we tried to shoot Frank. That was just in our last episode. We couldn't save Kate this episode, and uh, we blame Mr. Jefferson. Most people blame Nathan, or uh, David is actually second. Um, Mr. Jefferson is actually very rare. So there's that. Um, I watered my plant. I don't even remember doing that, because that was so long ago. Uh, helped Alyssa. That was a long time ago. Erased the link to Kate's video. Did that. You were friendly with... Or you weren't friendly with Taylor. I don't remember that at all, but that may have just been something where you pass by it and you don't actually see it sometimes. Uh, I rejected Warren's invitations. Um, I didn't write a message. I don't know what that was. Um, I didn't tamper with the railroad tracks. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, is that like, does that have to do with the wires and stuff? With the the thing when Chloe got trapped? Kind of seems like it. Um, I didn't gain entry to the Vortex Club, probably because I don't want to end up like Kate. <laughs> uh, not like that would happen anyways, but whatever. Uh, I did not help Warren. I don't know what that was about. I told on David to Mr. Jefferson. I do know that. That was right outside the class after Kate ran off. But that is pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I am going to end this video here though. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video when we get started on the next episode of Life is Strange. Thank you for watching.